What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be the spoiler-free review for Sick. This movie is coming out later this week, Friday, actually, on Peacock. Many of you, myself included, were looking forward to this movie after we learned that Kevin Williamson had a hand in this film. That after now seeing it, I am so glad I saw this movie because it is nothing but, I would have to say, just the best pandemic era slasher movie I have seen thus far it's 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 hands down at the top of the list it's it's just that good kevin williamson pinned it he's doing what you might have expected him to do if you're a fan of scream like myself he collaborated on this screenplay with caitlin crab she is also responsible for bringing this story to us now the story itself sick finds us in the midst of the pandemic so it's set in 2020 a college student parker and her best friend mary decide to self-quarantine at her family's lake house where they will be alone or so they think now this is directed by john hyams who is just someone i want to see collaborate with kevin williamson that much more he did this one movie in 2020 that i also recall loving a lot that was titled alone i believe um and he's just proving himself to be very versatile as a filmmaker. And I want to see what he does next. He's very good at doing these action, capturing action sequences and combining them with these tense horror-esque narratives. He's just really good at it. And he's also, I know he's done other movies in the past that were just action-based movies. So to have him bring what he already is a, a a clearly master of into the horror genre and combining that with kevin williamson you have a hit on your hands and that's exactly what sick is it's not something that is just the most oh my god wow like top 10 10 out of 10 movie or anything like that but on a technical level it's just so masterfully done that it elevates the story because you'll see what i mean when you sit down and watch the movie uh it's it's the talent behind it that's elevating this story that's not to knock anything that is being written here kevin williamson has written something that anyone else could have written but only he can make it work this well and then tackling that or combining that with someone like john hyams just makes it that much better um that is up until we get to the reveals which didn't impress me or anything like that but it was a cohesive and logical motive despite if i did or didn't like it even if you did or don't like it when you rewatch it everything makes sense it comes together and it's like aha i see it even though i don't really care for the motive personally i'm just saying that williamson has packed this thing with meta dialogue self-aware characters nods to horror classics like scream scream 2 halloween and friday the 13th the covid commentary might be preachy to some but it never reached what people would label uh what would they call it woke territory it's a very timely story that doesn't feature insufferable dialogue to get its point across like a lot of other movies our main character parker played by gideon adlon is very likable and easy to get behind even though we don't learn an awful lot about her the way i would have liked to adlon is great at bringing the character to life and she captured the carefree nature of the character so well i will add that the way parker behaves is in fact in my opinion as as i'm recording this i see that as foreshadowing and even now also consider the her behavior to be clues as to why she finds herself at the center of this highly intense game of cat and mouse so i would say definitely pay attention to how she behaves because there are certain aspects of her that many people might not like but she's all around for the most part a very likable character um she has this boy drama and is very much so a product of gen z but she's relatable and that's enough for me to get invested in her arc all the performances are amazing i don't have any issues with that aspect of the movie parker's friend miri played by bethlehem million is a tremendous or is tremendous in her role i mean to say in the chemistry those two share help make their friendship believable as far as her character goes i mean we learn that parker's friend uh miri she has a at-risk father and that's pretty much it and she's friends with parker so she's a pretty one note character in that regard but her personality and the talent bringing the character to life is enough for me to at least grow invested in her and i hope it's the same for you guys when you see the movie perhaps something sick could have done better is not abandoning its COVID commentary midway through the movie until the end because it was working so well and then by the middle it just becomes another standard slasher movie it's like what happened to all the COVID stuff because it was going so well and it was quite humorous at times what elevates it again is john himes in his masterful direction the camera work in this film is just simply captivating and it beckons you to just observe all the surroundings before the film becomes this suspenseful chase scene overly long chase scene that's nothing but an, a complete adrenaline rush and you'll love every minute of it uh the tracking shots that are featured throughout this film just amplify the looming threat that we know is out there but the characters don't for at least the first act so those shots combined with the film's editing choices truly get you on the edge and help create this un 
uneasy feeling the moment the sun goes down. The film is rather fast paced, I will say that. So don't expect any real breathing room when the intensity finds its footing because it's going it's not going to let up. It's really not. It pay, the pacing for the movie works for the most part and it allows it to set the stage for the COVID world up front, establishing the paranoia of 2020 of that people had in 2020. Spending brief time getting to know about the characters and then it thrusts you into this adrenaline rush of an experience. This movie is just so well made. It just really is. When you see it, sure, like me, like I said, some of the negatives with the movie are the fact that I think the body count could have been greater. Although, given the characters that are in it, I see why you don't have too much of a high body count when it comes to your protagonist anyway. On the other hand, when you find out, again, what you see in the trailer, the person responsible for this there are some twists and turns related to that that will help add to the body count and also the way the writing is kind of just setting you up to think that you have it all figured out but then you're like oh wait no i don't it's, it's like okay typical kevin williamson fashion one step ahead of us subverting our expectations it's all just so well handled and i hope these two collaborate on more movies overall i would say this is a solid seven and a half out of ten i loved it thus far it is I, I i don't mind saying this is my favorite horror movie of the year i mean i've only seen this so far and megan but this so far out of megan has completely just outshined megan in every way possible for me um not to say that the characters again are the most well written or well well rounded but when you want a chase scene like many of you who didn't get that with screen five or begging for one kevin williamson just delivered one that's nearly an hour a uh, nearly an hour long <laughs> and it's just so intense and so well made um i just i just i don't really know what else to say about this movie other than i i really loved it i loved it a lot i just hope that you guys enjoy it when you see it on friday i also love the score in it too the score has this like um Par parker's friend mary she's concerned about the droplets of course because of covid and the score itself has this kind of like droplet aspect of it where you hear it and it's like okay something dang something uh something bad is about to happen anytime you hear that droplet something bad is about to happen i loved it i loved how it's just messing with you and hyping you up and getting you to just pay attention to every little corner and aspect of this lake house it was just so well crafted let me know what you guys think about sick down in the comment section below when you see it what are your pros and cons with it do you like the motive do you not like the motive uh if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video